high on KB. So I guess a lot of you are wondering why I haven't actually made a vlog in a while or a, just a random video on this uh, channel and the reason is is because most of my ideas have been on the other channel and I just haven't been asked to do stuff on this channel. Sorry but YouTube isn't my life. <laughs> and that is pretty much the topic of this video which is revision. Revision affects all of us especially this time of year which is May mostly where we have to actually revise whereas most people would say revise a month prior to your exams or a few months prior to your exams whereas you pretty much uh, are gonna put your uh, stuff that you're revising in the long run of your memory and go on from there and then when you come up to the exam you use your short term to guide you or you can chew the same flavor gum revising as you would in the exam unless uh, they think you might be putting hidden notes in your chewing gum uh, to give you the answers. So whether you're doing GCSE revision, A-level revision, or university revision, or any other kind of uh, certain revision, even a driving test. Preparation, I don't really need to tell people preparation. The way I like to study is uh, I like to, well, look at the lecture slides. I like to read the lecture slides out loud, so I hear the sound of my own voice and I pee a little by hearing that. And then I pretty much record myself with my microphone so that I can listen to it later on. This way I can remember what I actually said and it sticks in my mind. And presto, I did have another method of doing it before which was just writing out notes again and again and again, but that was... I felt that was quite a slow method compared to what I'm doing now and so I wasted a little bit of time actually doing that instead of what I'm doing now. People will usually ask the question, how often should I revise or how many hours a day should I revise? And I don't think that is the question, maybe it depends on the kind of person you are. If you're the kind of person who loves to stick to a schedule, then yeah, uh, how many hours should I revise? Uh, if you're a person who wants to get stuff done, it's more of how much should I revise in a day or how much do I have to revise before the exam? So in that sense, there's two other options. I like to prefer saying I want to get this amount of stuff done in this day and this amount of stuff done in the next day. And it kind of just like splits stuff up for me a lot easier than just going six hours, five hours. Because there might be a few cliffhangers on the stuff that I revise. And probably by the Heisenberg shirt, you're probably wondering if I studied chemistry. Um, sorry to disappoint. Do study a science though, if computer science counts. There is some sort of mathematical stuff going on, but then again that goes on in a lot of sciences, so can't really apply there. The thing is, when you give people advice for revision, it's not usually a case of uh, strict guidelines to go by. There may be some strict guidelines and there may be some aided stuff to help you with your revision, like uh, diagrams and maps and stuff. We should take a bit of effort to write out, but... So, that's all from me. Like, Facebook, follow Twitter, follow Tumblr, and follow other YouTube channels where I am currently doing a Pokemon Emerald grass lock. So, go check that out if you're interested in that, and I hope you are, because I am. Lights out. Thank <laughs> you.